Steve Tobin is probably one of the most interesting artists I have personally come across. His work with sculpture and the message he's trying to convey in his work is something I find exceptionally inspiring and something definitely outside my normal artistic sphere of creativity. What drew me to him was not only his process, inspiration, and passion behind his works, but I deeply admire the amount of time and personal dedication he puts into each body of work he creates. Steve Tobin is a 64-year-old American sculptor who was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1957. The inception of Tobin's love and inspiration for sculpture sparked from experimenting with physics in school and from experiencing nature from his youth. He studied theoretical mathematics at Tulane University and graduated with a bachelor's in science in 1979, but instead of pursuing mathematics, he moved to art. From there, Tobin developed an interest in glassblowing, which led to creations of glass trees, which he would sell on the streets of New York in 1970. In 1972, he discovered a love of working with clay on a potter's wheel, and that laid the foundation for his craftsmanship and later creative works. His net worth is somewhere between one and five million. A lot of his work is drawn from the inspiration of nature, and he mainly works with glass, bronze, steel, and clay mediums. His art has been featured in many major museums and collections around the world. He is a master of many mediums and works. In 1933, he first became famous for his waterfall sculpture made by strands of glass in Finland. He ceased glass work since he never could top that and created and moved on to ceramic and bronze sculpture works. Among his lesser-known works, he has created life-size termite hills symbolizing structures in society and many other bronze sculptures. His most famous work, however, is the Trinity Root. The story behind the Trinity Root is both beautiful and tragic. It begins on September 11, 2001, where a beautiful tree was standing in the middle of the Trinity Church courtyard. As the debris from the towers fell, the tree sacrificed itself to save the church. Upon hearing the story, Tobin was both moved and took inspiration to, get, to dedicate the tragedy of September 11th and for the sacrifice of the tree. He decided to cast the root of the tree after carefully removing debris and spending over 20,000 man hours and over $1 million creating the piece. In April 2017, the Trinity Church moved the Trinity Root to Connecticut without Tobin's knowledge. Significant damages were made to the sculpture, and Tobin was furious. He decided to sue the church, asking it to be placed back in its original location and for 200000 in damages to be paid. Regrettably, however, he lost this case and it was never moved back to the Trinity Church courtyard. Along with Tobin's famous Trinity Root, Tobin has made a collection of roots or root series, if you will. These dancing tree-like figures resemble human forms, but also tree or roots of tree forms. As discussed before, Tobin is a master of mediums. This includes the idea and concepts behind each of his work. The Root series have hidden art within them. Taking inspiration from Japanese calligraphy, Tobin has created these sculptures to cast certain shadows and paint shadows on the earth, using the earth as his canvas. The shadows cast resemble Japanese calligraphic words and with certain meanings in them as well. Tobin not only sees this as creating art of the earth, but a type of communication with the earth as well. Another one of Tobin's most recent series is called Exploding Earth. This series is phenomenal. To create each piece of the series, he took ceramic clay, put fireworks in them, and exploded them. I find this process to be very fun and interesting, and the pieces made by the explosion are breathtaking. The chemical reaction from the fireworks upon drying creates different shapes, colors, and textures. As you can see from the picture, beautiful, almost floral in nature shapes are created, and other details are placed to give artistic quality and personality to his work. I absolutely love the intense blue made by the explosions. It almost feels like you're looking into a magical water mirror or another world. I find it incredible that Tobin did over 10,000 explosions to create only 30 unique pieces for this set and 
this speaks volumes and the amount of time he puts into his creative process as well. Steve Tobin's Exploding Earth series focuses heavily on the concept of maps of creation and the Big Bang Theory, except it's little bangs for him, which are created by mankind. Steve Tobin's creative process is taxing and puts in a full year's work to create his breathtaking and gorgeous sculptures. His work connects the viewer back to nature and to themselves. His installments are meant to be permanent, and he sees them as permanent and existing for the next 500 years. He extends his personal growth through his artwork, through the viewer. I find his work incredible, and I hope you find it fascinating as well. He truly inspires me to be a better and more inventive artist, and he truly gives me a sense of wonder with his artwork and the creation process of art. Thank you so much.